All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this HP. Let's see, the model is 17-BS049DX. At least I think that's what it is because it got scraped off. So hopefully that's right. All right, anyways, you want to take the battery out first. Just slide these. So right now, I think this is already in the unlock. Okay, yeah. So you slide it towards the middle pop the battery out and then what we want to do is remove all the screws so these are ph1 screws you'll just remove them all there are little screws underneath these rubber caps so to take these out you just get pry underneath excuse me with pry tools or whatever um and there'll be screws under here okay and then screws under these so Somebody worked on this before, it was already missing some screws, but anyways, we'll, we'll remove one, two, three, four, five, six, this holds the CD drive in place, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, okay? Once you remove this one, you can actually pull the CD drive out, just like this. If it gets caught, you might have to wiggle it up and down, side to side, or you might have to just flip the computer, and then that should release it. Hmm, why is it stuck right now? That's weird. Maybe I didn't clip it in all the way. Oops. That's why. Okay. So I didn't clip that. Well, I'll show you here. So I didn't clip this in all the way, so I had to clip that back down to get it out properly. Alright, so once you do that, get all the screws out. Okay. What you want to do is open up the screen. Do it slowly because you have less screws holding it. I always recommend holding the power button down for about 10 to 15 seconds after removing the battery and the power source. Okay, after you do that, there's a gap here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera here, but there's a gap here. So what I do, you can use pry tools, but I get my fingernails in that gap and I use my thumbs on the back to push it out just like this. So I pull on it with my fingernails and then I push with my thumbs, okay? Just like that, go all the way around. All right, be careful, you don't wanna drop the thing down. Anyways, you can close this now. Okay, then you just wanna go all the way around, pop the clips out, okay, just like this. Okay, go all the way around, all the way around. Pop the clips on the corners too, all right. So once you get that, you can Pull this up, wiggle it around, and lift it out, and the cover comes off just like that. All right, so this we're gonna do an SSD upgrade. Um, there is an SSD in here. I don't know if it came with one, but that's what's in here. It's only 110 gigs, 120 gigs, or something. But anyways, uh, the RAM here. Just pull these to the side. We got PC4 2400T. So if you want to upgrade, you want the same DDR4 memory. You can get another 8 gig stick, um, or you can put like two 16 gig sticks, but most people don't need more than 8 gigs anyways. So if you're putting like two 16 gigs, more than 99.999% of people won't need more than 8 gigs. So yeah, anyway, so we're going to take the hard drive out, but as you can see, all these connectors are very similar. They have the little flip clips, or they have this style connector where you kind of just grab it, wiggle it, and just keep rocking it back and forth, and eventually it will pop out, so just like that, okay? So that's the speaker connector, I'm gonna leave that in there. The speakers come out, you just pull them up, they do have little hooks that catch on the rubber piece, so you kind of have to wobble it around to get it out, I'm gonna leave it in there. But you got the two speakers there, you got the fan here, I'm not gonna try and remove it, it looks like there's a little hook here that holds onto it, and then one screw here, so it probably swings up. Um, this is probably the power button cable, um, the LCD LVDS cable here, you got the charge port DC jack connector here underneath this little flap there, alright, I'm not going to take all this stuff apart because the customer just wants an SSD upgrade and I don't want to risk messing up stuff and messing around, so you got the keyboard connector here, you got the optical disk drive or the CD drive connector here. So I'm gonna have to take this out to take out the SSD, so I will show that. And yeah, the touch bar, um, the mouse touchpad buttons, 
all right there's an extra slot for another stick of ram and you got an m.2 ssd slot here i don't know if it supports pcie nvme but it looks like the slot would fit the drive i, I don't know if it supports it though because sometimes in software it won't support it anyways we're going to take the ssd out by doing that or to do that we have to flip this latch here for this connector then we can pull this connector out. To put them back, you just slide it back in and then put the latch back down. I mean, yeah, it's simple. All right, um, there's also the CMOS or the BIOS battery here. To remove that, you just get like a small flathead, push the battery over. This is like a little spring-loaded thing, and then you can lift it out. I'm gonna leave that in there. I got lots of videos showing all this kinds of stuff, so just watch through all my videos. I don't like showing the same thing over and over and over and over again, um, so hopefully, um, you'll be able to watch those and kind of learn from them. Alright, so to get the hard drive out, the SSD, there's these rubber pieces that you kind of just lift it out. Alright, those just keep the SSD from, or the hard drive from sliding back. There's a 2.5 inch SATA hard drive SSD, or SSD. And then we're going to grab this square thing and lift it up. When it gets old, sometimes the rubber sticks in there and it becomes difficult, but just work it out, okay? All right, now that you got those two out, you can use this. They have this flap here, but I don't think it's gonna work well. I'm pulling on it and nothing's happening. So what I'm going to do is go from this side and pull the hard drive out if I can. Let's see. Wow, it's stuck pretty strong. It is moving, but it is stuck pretty strong. So pull the hard drive that way, okay. And then once it clears, you should be able to lift it up. All right. So this rubber stuff is all stuck down here, but I'm going to try to pull it up. There we go. Just like that at an angle and then slide it out. Okay. So that's the hard drive or the SSD and you can just get another one and put it in this thing. Um, I do have a video showing how to clone or upgrade them. So if you wanted to see that, um, just let me know if you can't find the video. If not, I will send you a link. Okay. So that's pretty much it. To put it back, you just slide that back in, put the cover back on, snap it back down, put all the screws in, and yeah. Um, there's also the wireless card here. It only has one antenna, so if you're wondering where the other antenna or what happened, that's actually how it's designed. I don't know why. I guess it's not, um, what do you call, dual band with a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, so there's probably just a 2.4 gigahertz. And yeah. That's pretty much all I'm going to show on this. Um, so hopefully this video helped you at least see what's inside the computer. Helped you see how you can upgrade. Um, this spot here, certain models, I guess will have dedicated graphics card, but this one doesn't. So, yeah. Oh, my cat's coming up here. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to upgrade the SSD on this. And yeah, so again, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Help others find these videos. Thank you for watching. If you're kind of wondering how do you disconnect this kind of stuff, you can watch my other videos. I have ones where I do the thermal paste. The CPU is soldered to here, so you can't replace the CPU or upgrade it. But yeah. So yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.